Hey everybody, welcome to Lesser Saints of Discord, your one and only sister show to Laughing Scoundrel Podcast. It's episode number 171. Something's fishy. My name's Jables. With me as always, Rimshi and Sarah's watching. I don't know if anybody else wants to join in, join the Discord. Uh, hop in the waiting room. We might pull you in. And if you have the regular guest rule, just fucking show up. Yeah, stop asking us if you already have the regular guest rule. It's distracting. The worst that can happen is that we kick you out. Yeah. And revoke your role, which, let's be honest, it never not gonna happens. Happen. <laughs> yeah. We kind of need people to talk to. I just realized I have to update the freaking uh, Discord announcement since we're now the sister show, not the pre show. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I'm just playing around with that for right now, so whatever. Doesn't matter. Well, fuck it. I updated it. Fuck you, Jables. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. All right. Fuck you in the ass with a with a spiky dildo. Hey, we no, don't talk Pride about brother the sister show. show. Yeah, <laughs> crab. Okay, so crab. We're the sister show because we're traps. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, um, I guess I have to be departing the show now. It's been a good run, guys. <laughs> I was too busy setting up another sound, but I didn't fully uh, do everything else. Um, <laughs> here, let's let's talk about love and lockup. All right, which one is this one? Shit, Just I gotta find it. Show. Ah, that. God damn it! One of you two want to take it? I gotta um, pull it up first. Fucking hell! All right, we're good now. I'm not screwed up. I swear. Go ahead. Ah, god damn it! <laughs> Okay, I guess I'll pull it up then. I'll go ahead and read it then. Ukrainian couple chained together for four months to save relationship breaks up for good. Well, I could have told you this was coming. (laughs) I could have told you this was happening the moment they chained themselves together to try and save their relationship. <sighs> Toronto, Alexander Kudle and Victoria Pustov- Pustovitova. Um, I'm not going to try and pronounce foreign names anymore unless I actually know it because I just butcher the fuck out of it. <laughs> yeah, I don't necessarily agree that you could uh you could predict they were going to break it well you can but i don't know if you're not spending enough time together and you're trying to fix it by spending more time together that might be a thing yeah but you're gonna end up bumping into each other figuratively speaking and literally, actually, it's going to make a lot of your tasks harder. Like, what if they don't work together? What if they are? What if one of them work? What if they what if they both work and they're in completely different industries? One's an automotive mechanic. The other one is a uh, an esthetician or some shit like that. I'll job shadow that. Can yeah, get some buttholes. Yeah, but at the same time, <laughs> you're you're sitting in a position where you're down to a single ah, income. Ah, 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 ah. Fuck. What? Yeah, she's the pooping is another issue. Funnier. All right, I'm going to go ahead and read it. Alexander <laughs> Kudle and Victoria Pustovitova found themselves in a vicious cycle of breaking up and making up. So, in a desperate... In, in a Desperate to fix in a desperate bid, which is not there, 
bid to they fix like, their relationship. We get on these woes. motherfuckers so often hey, for Jackie Vandenther at Jack Van D on Twitter. Go fuck yourself. Spell. We get Write on these motherfuckers. Like, not even spell, that's grammar for one thing, but we go on these motherfuckers constantly for padding fucking articles by putting in a bunch of superfluous fucking words. And yet, when you need to fucking clarify something, it's just not there. It's just like, a desperate what? A desperate what? And it does. You know, there there is one exception to that. Fuck you for padding the article. That one guy who does the most random shit. We haven't covered him in a minute. <laughs> no, we, we haven't. Anyway. Yeah. We yeah, we need to go back and check out what he's doing. But he literally I'll, started I'll describing that. strawberries. That was fucking golden. <laughs> it completely unrelated to the article. And uh, so which, it's completely wait, clear which... what he's doing, but it's fucking hilarious. Which article was Yeah, that? he fucking fooled us, too. Yeah! We thought he was just fucking trying to pat it for, like, the first article we, we read, and then we read the next one. It's like, this one's also padded, but it's... I, I think I'm starting to see a pattern. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's like, I, it's like, I hope he fucking explains what a strawberry is, and they start explaining what a strawberry <laughs> was, and I'm like, holy shit, he did it! <laughs> um... God damn, I don't remember I don't remember if we saved how to find this dude. Ah oh, fuck it, I don't remember his name. Chat, well, if you remember, let us know. And we'll ask oh, yeah. again in uh like what, half an hour? We'll have yeah. to remember to ask again. Cause chat'll know. Oh, yeah. Crab might know. Canuck might know. But anyway, moving on. So, speaking in a of Canuck, <laughs> of course, weird shit happened in Toronto. You would know. <laughs> uh, in a desperate bid to fix their relationship woes, the two decided to handcuff themselves to one another. Since Valentine's Day, the re- Ukrainian couple has been going on about their daily lives linked at the wrist. Mildly mundane tasks like putting on makeup, shaving, or grocery shopping had become a full-on team effort. Kudle, a 33-year-old car salesman, and Pustovi Tova, a 29-year-old beautician. I (laughs) wouldn't... I was not far off from my guesses. You were literally saying, it's like, what if he's an automotive car salesman? <laughs> Different aspect of that industry. Cool. <laughs> uh, so, hold on real quick. Crab, uh, we reset the news articles uh, channel, so it's not going to be in there. Unless Did if it was that? in or, a new ha- suggestion. We haven't reset it in a long time. No, I just reset it like a couple weeks ago. Ah. Uh, yeah. yeah, that happens. Oh, oh, wait. Did we do did we put it in best of? I'm scrolling through best of. I'm not seeing anything that might refer to strawberries. That's the problem. I think it was the tra- no, that was a uh that was satire. Oh, you know what? I followed him on Twitter. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm sure reading. if I see the name, once I see the name in the picture, I'll remember it. Anyway, even uh, uh, the the car salesman and the beautician even took turns using the bathroom and taking showers. Uh Pustovitova, Pustovitova, I'm going to just learn that name by the end of this, fuck, said it was her personal space she missed the most, but also missed the attention her partner used to pay her. We stayed together all day, Pustovitova said in an interview with Reuters news agency. I did not receive any attention from Alexander because he, because we were constantly together. He did not tell me I miss you, she added. No shit! It's kind of hard to fucking miss you when you're shackled to my fucking wrist. 
Like, I miss my wife. I'm not going to shackle my, my uh, our ankles together just so that we spend more time together. Fuck. You'll get sick of that person real fucking quick. A weekend, oh, so you might have issues. Her ankles being, are probably being... her ankles are probably swollen right now too. So. Oh, they fucking are. For yeah. those who don't know, <laughs> Miss Rimsey's pregnant. Yeah, probably not best. She's growing huge, her. and I, I and by that, I, I get to say that because she's pregnant. Yeah. Keep in mind, she's growing huge because of the baby growing in her. I am not making any claim to anything else, and if you do. I will disavow you. You're the one saying shit, dude. I know I'm saying shit, but I'm talking to the people watching. <laughs> I d- all, you don't need all any three help. Of the ones digging actually your own grave. watching. I dig my own grave often enough. I don't need someone else to dig it for me. That's my point. <laughs> As I, what I meant was is that you don't need any help from us. You're efficient at doing it already. <laughs> No, she's not home, so so I'm I'm actually safe right now. Anyway. <laughs> Hoodley said he didn't regret their social experiment, but admitted that being handcuffed to his partner for four months helped him bu- better understand the reality of their relationship. I don't love different... this bitch. Uh, yeah, that's that's what it is. We have different views on many issues. On one hand, that's a fucking period. Uh, no, that 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 may be a comma, but it doesn't look like a comma. It's not a comma. Um, on one hand, it does not bother us, and we don't su- uh, suppress each other, Kudley said. But on the other hand, we are not like-minded people. We are not on the same wavelength. We are totally different. After 123 days, the couple finally decided it was time to go their separate ways. Their bond-cutting breakup was performed in front of a TV camera and a crowd in Kiev on Thursday. So, no, this wasn't in Toronto. It's just Toronto covering it? I don't fucking know. No... No other couple has pulled off this kind of feat, according to a Ukrainian record book that was on hand for the event. The pair plans to... Space Plans to? Plans Plans to? to. (laughs) The pair plans to... The pair plans to sell the handcuffs in an online auction and donate part of the money to charity. Notice they said part. They've already decided $500... Uh, of the thousand dollars we're asking for a minimum is going to charity. Everything else is ours. Or yeah, Profit. we'll give five percent. This couple is just idiots. Also, it doesn't look. I I hope that's actually them because I hope that uh, they just used a chain. And not actual handcuffs, so that they had to bring the fucking bolt cutters over and just separate shit. Yeah, like, Goddamn. can you imagine after all that time? It's like, uh, okay, where's the key? I thought you had it. Call the Royal Luck Smith! We're getting to that crab. Just be patient. Hello, Vimpair. Okay, I I follow way too many people on Twitter to find this guy. So. Damn it, Jail. <laughs> no, it's... I... Yeah, what the fuck was that article about? What... I don't even want to have to go now. back through episodes to find out, but I mean, if we have to. Oh. All right, what, 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 
What's if, up any, now? if anybody remembers the subject of that article, please just let us know. Even if you don't remember the guy that wrote it. Yeah, the the article or, where he goes on a rant about strawberries. Yeah, or if you remember what the any of his any any my any detail, no matter <clears throat> how minor, other than the rant about strawberries, let us know. Yeah, that would be helpful. Because he needs to go in the best of him as a person, not necessarily the articles. Yeah, I could have sworn I put him in the best of. Maybe I put him in the random links. For me. Anyways, yeah, keep going. Alright, what's next? Are we just going to talk shit about this dumbass couple? Like, this has got to be them. He, he looks like some wannabe Chad idiot. And I don't know. She looks like some average person. Well, let's talk about dumb ways to die. <laughs> so many dumb ways to die. Found uh, him. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, yeah. no, I, I, I found him. I found him. You found him. You found him. His name is we'll Will Greenley. Links. Hold on. Hold on. Well, I actually found the article that we covered. <laughs> Holy fuck. That's all I need, because that'll link to every other article that he's written. I thought I just opened that one up. <laughs> Treasure Coast. All right, go ahead and read this one, Jables. Uh, the, the Dumb Ways to Die one? Yes. Okay. It's on screen. Read it. Yeah. Heart attack survivor who had 12 energy drinks a day aims to ban sales to kids. I drink to excess, so you can't have any. Dumb ways to die. <laughs> a man who once downed a dozen energy drinks per day is warning parents to be sure their children avoid the dangerous beverages. Lee Kevin, 55, has embarked on a camp... Oh, hey, thanks, Mickey, for subscribing. 19 months. Yeah, damn. Uh, Lee Kevin, 55, has embarked on a campaign for kids' health after discovering his daughter, Summer, 10, had managed to purchase a Monster Energy drink at a convenience store next to her elementary school. Okay. Okay. Cameron was once known to consume 8 to 12 energy drinks per day. The owner of Vault Bar and Hull, United Kingdom, has said that his demanding work led him to drink the energy-boosting bevs constantly to keep me going. Do coke like an adult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably cost you about the same. Yeah. No, no, coke will be cheaper. No, it's about the same. Yeah. Well, I guess that depends <laughs> on where you are. I guess that that does depend on. Oh, where it, you yeah. Go. In the UK, in the UK, it's way it's probably more expensive to do coke. Eh. You are never going to see me in a pool on this show, cats. It's not happening. I'll do a pool podcast. Yeah, I don't care. No, you. We'll, we'll do a pool podcast, but you've got to wear like a ski mask or something. I'm just not getting in the pool. It's not happening. <laughs> no, you you get to wear like a, a dry suit <laughs> and full scuba <laughs> gear. <laughs> I'll be the asshole sitting next to the pool with my back to the camera. All right. <laughs> Rimshi and I all have fun making whirlpools in an above ground pool. <laughs> <laughs> My parents have a pool. Yeah. Above ground or in ground? In ground. Much to yeah. your suspicion, the fuck are you talking about, Mickey? He 
yes, like Canuck, if there was a pull stream, you, we would absolutely have to try and get you there somehow. No, Crab, don't get me wrong. I like the water just fine. You know, like at an amusement park, you're probably going to find me in the water park section because I don't do water Larry! monsters very well. Wave pools Plus, are fine. La though. Lazy rivers are fucking awesome. Oh, yeah. Lazy rivers are fucking great. I could spend most of the day in one of those if they'd let me. <laughs> No, but I'm talking like uh, an above ground pool, Rimshi, you and I just go around making a whirlpool and then the whole show be you and I making a whirlpool and just floating around having fun and then Scooter just making in, fun in of us. In the most winter gear possible, just sitting in the there. Most... <laughs> now, I'm just going to be sitting over there like drinking craft sodas and ignoring you. <laughs> <laughs> So would my parents. Although they'd probably go with something a little harder. Can't believe this is my son. Hey, Larry. Um, hey, Larry here. Yeah, we are drinking. We are reading about Mr. Red Bull. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this guy's an idiot. Go ahead and continue on him. <laughs> yeah. I would buy cases of 24 cans and just drink them like any other drink, said the lifelong barman who added that his brands of choice were Red Bull and Monster. His habit continued for about a year, Cameron said, until he suffered a near-fatal heart attack in 2017, and then swore off the stuff completely. Okay, so, um, most of us learn in school that, um, moderation has to be taken with pretty much everything. Because, Boys and girls, everything in large amounts becomes toxic. Oxygen. Yeah, uh, not not Water. only that, but Light. on the on every energy energy drink can I've seen, it says do not drink more than two. For some of them, some of them say do not drink more than three a day. Actually, I've got you know, some like, in the garage. I'll be right back. Like, we've got some shit that um, we sell at the store called a Red Line, I think it is. Yeah, I know. I know what you're and about. for people who don't know what this shit is, it's actually a concentrate. They sell it in cans, but there are specific instructions on the can that you mix, like, half the can with, like, a certain amount of water. Mm-hmm. And we have people, usually like truckers and shit, that'll come in and just like drink multiple of those things straight. Yeah. It's like, Jesus Christ, man. You might as yeah. well do meth. Larry, I've gone through times when I've had, when I've had like 12 energy drinks in a day and I was just jacked up for 48 hours. Um, <laughs> Cats. <laughs> And yeah, and uh, yeah, but this guy was drinking 12 a day for over a year. Wait, 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 Mickey, me catfishing you guys as if I would try that hard to get any of you motherfuckers' attention. Yeah, Mickey, please, Mickey, sir, has kind of been on camera before on the show. Yeah, I just didn't show my face. Yeah. And I also... The, he was on with a mask and stuff. And... Also, that was to show you all that I was indeed hurting myself for your amusement. Not mm -hmm. faking it. And, as I said, yeah, it sucked for like the first five minutes. But it was okay after that. Wow. Most most hot stuff is like that. Yeah, I was reading nope. shit on I was like, uh, oh like the first hour is gonna be it's like fuck man, after five after fifteen minutes it was completely over for me. Mm -hmm. like, what's this hour bullshit that people are talking about? 
Some people are sensitive. Like, my mom's really sensitive to spice. If you put mm. too much black pepper on something, she's... And by too much, it means just, like, a bit. She, uh... She's sensitive to that. Well, cats, younger, in, in your case... In your case, cats, at least you have a mug that's worth posting. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lovely mug. You're all right, but the mug, yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Rimshi already getting into the dad jokes. Hey, I'm two months away. I got to practice somewhere. And I don't have yeah, friends. Fair enough. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just fuck off then. <laughs> Oh, that so, took you a moment. Addy says lots of things, Mickey. I'm average. That's as far How as I How do I come in so. cups, Larry? Uh, Tissue paper. Yeah, Vimpair. From, Led, from Redline. Warning. Do not use this product if you are pregnant or nursing. Do not consume this product if you are taking any prescription drug and or have any medical condition. The user of this product assumes all liability if this product is used in a manner not consistent with label guidelines. This product contains caffeine and should not be used with any other caffeine-containing products. This product is intended for use by healthy individuals only. Yeah. Okay, let me put into perspective the military viewpoint on this. But the important part of all of that that you need to remember, boys and girls, is that the user of this product assumes all liability if this product is used in a manner not consistent with labeled guidelines. Which is why this guy is getting, trying to get it banned. Because he's an idiot. Anyway, but yeah, from the military perspective on this, Marine Corps runs on Monster or Rippets or or Red Bull or some energy drink. Everyone drinks the energy drinks. Rockstar. Yeah, Rockstar is a pretty common one too. Bang um, that new shit. But, balls every once in a while for a joke. Balls, there was a cocaine I, energy drink. It was literally called cocaine. Yeah, that shit was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> apparently it was spicy. Yeah. Eh. But no, Marine Corps, the Marine Corps runs on energy drinks. We still don't do more than four in a day, and even that's too much. Yeah. I've, yeah, I've known a couple of guys to go as high as six, but that's the military. This guy says being a bartender, bartender led him to a minimum of eight a day. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's like, nah, dude, you just have a fucking problem at that point. Yeah. Get some sleep. Fucking whack job. You know, like, I, it, you, know, this is you like, had other options. You just chose to do this. This is like somebody drinking and driving, crashing their car, and then saying nobody should drive. Yeah. And so, you know, like, or, I think Rimshi's kind of on to something. It's just like, he knew he couldn't fucking sue because of, you know, said you know warnings and liability so he's going about getting back at them a different way well he it it said earlier his 10 year old bought a monster one time yeah before school now i yeah there are what certain... you define as minors too that's the other thing i know there are initiatives in some states to like put a minimum age on like the purchase of these things which I'm not entirely against mm -hmm. yeah a, an yeah. 8 year old does not need a monster period yeah that's yeah. fine but yeah, maybe so like, just be a better parent yeah <laughs> yeah it's like you know it's like oh yeah I'm it's like, I'm getting him this. It's like, wait, you're... Nope. Mm -mm. Nope, can't do that. Yeah, yeah. like, even on the, the much less robust label for this Monster Ultra Fiesta Zero Sugar Energy, it says Monster Energy Blend, and it lists the ingredients, gives caffeine from all sources, 150 milligrams per can. Consume responsibly. Shit. 
Yeah, consume responsibly. Not recommended for children, people sensitive to caffeine, pregnant women, or women who are nursing. It even says on this one, which is much less robust, not recommended for children. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, if people want to do initiatives where it's like, oh, you have to be, like, at least, like, 15, 16 to purchase, you know, like, drinks with this high of caffeine content, it's like, I'm not opposed to that. I am. Not really. Well, like, not yeah. 15, 16, like, maybe a bit lower than that, but definitely, like, small children have no business drinking these fucking things. Yeah, of course. I'm not and if you're a fire. parent giving these to small children, stop! I was hanging out with my nieces and my nephew one time. Just us hanging out. I gave them each a shot of a Red Bull before <laughs> I sent them back with their mom. Fucking awesome. <laughs> hey, see, like that's that's some quality dickery right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I gave him each a shot. I gave him fifteen minutes, and I asked him how fast they could run. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh. This is the proper way to get the entertainment out of small children. <laughs> yeah. Plus, they'll they'll have a crash and they'll tire out eventually if I keep doing shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like... Hey! Hey, we don't talk to soccer in this chat. Fucking soccer. I have no comment. Anyway, I think we've pretty much gotten the gist of this article. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we said what we can. Uh... It ain't football to us, cats. We're American here. We're American centric. We like our impact. We actually like a game where you can potentially score more than three times in a game. If they shrunk down the field for soccer, that'd be a. Uh, yeah, it might I'd actually be... be a more fast paced and dynamic game at that point. Yeah, but that's also a hot. Hockey is just soccer on ice with sticks. It's also a lot more interesting because you can have fights. Yeah. Yeah, the moment they start taking away the fights from hockey and the impacts and the good old roughhousing, well, first off, mm -hmm. the Canadians will start to, to have their anger issues rear their ugly heads since hockey's their release. Um, mm -hmm. But also, people are going to stop watching. I always find it amusing, like, um, people from other countries, like, actually watching, like, compilations of, like, football hits for the first time. I remember this one guy, he's, like, a rugby fan, and he, like, watches, you know, like, a NFL, like, biggest hits compilation for the first time. And, like, from the very first tackle, he just pauses the video immediately. He's like, holy shit! Can <laughs> yeah. they do that? Yeah. Is that legal? <laughs> yeah, everybody yeah. everybody shits on football because of the pads, but keep in mind the pads protect both of you so you can hit harder. Like, and, and really also, fuck each it, other up. There are multiple points also, where he's just like, how is he not dead? How did he walk it, away from that? It does also give you a false sense of confidence that you can take those hits and give those hits. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, you're more likely to have more serious injuries when you do have injuries yeah. in, in football. Yeah, without pads, rugby is actually a safer sport than football. Yeah, yeah, because, because... you're not gonna. I mean, you might have a uh, uh, a worse potential for for or, or you you might be more likely with each impact to have a 
concussion or something like that, but you're not going to end up fucking with your leg bent completely the wrong direction and going, I can play, yeah. coach, I'm good. Well, with, yeah, you know, like, well, with rugby, rugby, you're focused more on moving the person as opposed to just hitting them. It, I, I don't know how else to know, like, explain the difference. When you like, get the... Uh, M like when you actually look at it and you get the impact forces involved, like American football, a lot of those hits, it's they basically describe it as like a series of controlled car crashes. Yeah. And sometimes they're not all that well controlled. <laughs> bar also, rugby is bar, just coping fuck. mechanism for closeted bears. <laughs> also, bar fucking shots. Fired. Soccer yeah. is just interpretive dancing with moments of theater under the thin veneer of a sport. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Bar, come on in here. Join us. <laughs> How about you really feel? Yeah. <laughs> That's a bar. Empire. Huh? Uh, How's, How's that, Mark? Good. How you so, doing? Why did I'm here like a vampire? Yeah. Uh, you said it at the top of the right. show. You don't have to be invited. Just pop in, man. Yeah. So I decided to wait. Stop fucking asking us. If you have the regular guest role, just show up. Well, sometimes uh, I don't want to. If we. Well, then don't. And if it's we don't fun. want you here, we'll fucking kick you out. That's how it works. Wow. Wow. So good. I feel home already. Yeah. <laughs> I would soccer, say some other words, but we're arguments. on Twitch and I can't. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. So, what else are we shitting on? <laughs> well, we still haven't what finished this article of the guy who can't. Hmm. Get his, get his dick up or something. I don't know. Uh, it, no, it's That's just a news dumb now? article. It's just a dumb article of a guy that abused energy drinks and thinks yeah. that uh, they should be banned until you're like 18. Although I, oh. I think there have been studies that overuse of caffeine can lead to impotency. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I can say from a long-term study of one that <laughs> that's entirely unfounded. <laughs> It's a very small sample size. It's an ongoing. <laughs> um. Yeah. It. Sorry. Let me rephrase that. I, I mean, you could hit. How Dana many abortions Katz, have you? Paid Dina for? hits back. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah. We're shitting on all sorts of stuff today. I don't know. Hmm. So far, we haven't shit on anything that Larry loves that we know of. <laughs> you wanna you wanna go to the title article, guys? Yes, yeah, I sure. need to read this article and talk about it. All right. I'll we never finished this one, but show. this guy's just being. But I, to, to, uh, we, to boil it down, the... this guy is an idiot because he abused energy drinks, and now he wants other people to to suffer because he abused energy drinks. He abused energy drinks and he found out his daughter bought one at 10 years old. It's understandable, but be a better parent and yeah, tell your kids not to buy energy drinks. But one monster isn't going to fucking kill your 10-year-old. Mm. So, under normal circumstances, I mean, unless there's like a heart condition involved. And things I like mean, it may, yeah. it may play hell with your drywalls, but you know, just... Yeah. <laughs> so here's an interesting article. Thanks to Crab90 for providing this link. USA Today. Is Subway selling real tuna or is it fake? Test oh, find no tuna DNA. To, this is the closest thing to investigative journalism I think USA Today has gotten in a long time. For a time. while, yeah. Yeah. After a class also, action law. Mm hmm. Hold on, I gotta address some accusations about homophobia in the uh, oh, in the chat. God damn it! No, no. Bum lives matter. No, it's it's a uh, yeah. Bum lives matter. 
BLM. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean that you're going to abscond with all the donations and disappear for four years? <laughs> I know. I never, I never said that I hated the hobos. I never did I, either. I, well, it's you not what you say, it's what we can claim you said. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's what you claim I said, which has no basis in reality. Look, sir, we have reliable sources. So. So We're not going to tell you them. Oh. <laughs> well, you, you don't get to know our reliable sources because they're also anonymous sources, but we have reliable anonymous sources. Yeah. Very reliable and very anonymous. Even we don't know who they are. <laughs> I also like in the I also like in an article about tuna sandwiches, there's just a picture of a big ass fucking chicken sandwich on there. Uh crap, anonymous sources can be reliable. They're anonymous. Mm. Part of the problem. But it's also ne a necessity. Can we move <laughs> on? Yeah, let's move on to this article. We can talk about why anonymous sources aren't as big of an issue as they seem like they could be later. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get into that after this article. Anyway. After a class action lawsuit was filed against Subway in January alleging that its tuna was fake, the New York Times launched an investigation on whether the allegations were true or false. In the article, journalist Julia Carmel wrote that she used a commercial lab that could test a sample of tuna from different sandwiches across California subways. Carmel found herself on the phone with a spokesman for a lab that specialized in fish testing. He agreed to test the tuna, but asked that the lab not be named in this article as he did not want to jeopardize any opportunities to work directly with America's largest sandwich chain, Carmel wrote. <laughs> For about $500, Carmel wrote that his lab would conduct a PCR test, which would make copies of a specific DNA sample. And this test would allow, would show if Subway's tuna included one of the five different tuna species. After more than a month of waiting, the results came in. The lab told Carmel there were two conclusions. Either the meat was too heavily processed to be identified, or there was simply no tuna DNA to begin with. However, there are other factors to consider, including the fact that once tuna is cooked, its DNA becomes denatured, which would make it difficult to identify a fish's characteristics. A recent New York Times report indicates that DNA testing is an unreliable methodology for identifying processed tuna. This report supports and reflects the position that Subway has taken in relation to a meritless lawsuit filed in California and with respect to DNA testing as a means to identify cooked proteins. The sandwich chain said in a statement to Business Insider, DNA testing is simply not a reliable way to identify denatured proteins, like Subway's tuna, which was cooked before it was tested. Okay, Let, let's be clear There's more if to you're this. ordering, If you're ordering tuna from Subway... You're a bitch. Yeah, you've already made a mistake. Yeah. It... Why are you ordering tuna from Subway? Yeah, like, why the fuck are you paying somebody Because you're in making... denial, and you don't no. want to admit that you're the kind of person that orders gas station sushi. <laughs> yeah. God hey, gas it. station sushi isn't too bad. Once yeah, depending on the, the gas station, hairs. I've had some really good gas station sushi. I uh, I knew this guy that actually studied in Japan for a long time, but he made a shit ton of money just working at a gas station instead of a sushi bar because it was a corporation and they provided benefits and shit. So he made excellent fucking sushi at mm. this gas station. But here was my point. Is that why in the fuck are you paying some asshole who's probably barely getting paid to do what he does to make something that you could make yourself at home with a can of tuna, mayonnaise, and sweet pickle relish. Yeah. Tuna sandwiches a... aren't hard. And like, if you want a bit more fanciness to it, like you could do 
Make it with fucking coleslaw. I... Yeah, but, it, like... You're going in for a sub sandwich. You're going in for a good old hoagie. Yeah. Why tuna? Why would you get tuna? I said, you can make tuna at home. For way cheaper. Yeah. A can of tuna is like, what? 60 fucking cents? I mean... Being devil's advocate here, like some people aren't the move, they don't can't be at home that exact moment, feel a hankering. They said, "Oh, I don't want to get one of the meats." So let's go with the, you know, a, even then, like chicken or tuna. Yeah, well, there's even yeah, even then, there's other choices. Still, white tuna at Subway. Also, just get yourself a just get yourself a tuna sandwich from the gas station. You'd be better off, honestly. I was getting ready to say that. Soft but bread. I, I but... at the same time, I would also say, if you're going like if the gas station in question is a Circle K, don't buy a fucking tuna sandwich from Circle K. It's absurdly overpriced. Yeah. He would know. Three fucking dollars before tax for a tuna sandwich. Also, like yeah, you're paying you're, five dollars at Subway for not tuna. If you're gonna, if you're gonna buy a sandwich from someplace, why are you gonna go with the cheapest shit? Because it's not, it's not cheaper. Because it's get the, the cheapest tuna. shit. No, no, but it's not cheaper to get the tuna than it is to get anything else. It's people yeah, we telling have... themselves that they're being healthy because they're getting fish, quote unquote. I have never gotten a to respond to Y2K and W, I have never gotten a sandwich that was like hard from a Subway. Where I have was fucking Jimmy John's. That is one of the worst fucking sub sandwiches I have ever had. I cannot understand the appeal. Uh, you need to get them early in the day. Or it also depends on your Jimmy John's. Like that, the bread that I had on mine was like a fucking brick. Yeah, you had a shitty Jimmy John's. They didn't take, they didn't throw out their they're supposed to bake fresh bread every day. So you got fucked. Yeah, I got indigestion from that shit, and I have never been back. I either go to Firehouse or Jersey Mike's. Those are my sub places. Those are those are better choices, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. But if all you got is Jimmy Jones, I I'll go I'll go to Jimmy Jones. I like their Italian. Uh, Jersey Mike's has got a pretty good fucking selection of cheesecakes, Larry. It's cheese steaks, not cheesecakes. Cheese steaks. Like, um, their Chipotle cheesesteak. Oh my god, that's good. Did you say Chipotle? Yes. Okay. You mean Chipotle? Fuck off. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just a fucking jalapeno that's been dried and smoked. That's all it is. Mm. Yeah. That's literally all it is. So call it by its actual name. If I ever get stateside, what I want to try is a good pastrami sandwich. Oh, oh yeah. Pastrami uh, yeah. on Coast. rye with Swiss. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Dark rye. Actually, I know. I, I you, could you, like if you were ever out my way, I could take you one because like we have this place down called, called Shapiro's. It's an authentic Jewish deli. It's been here for over a hundred years. Yes, yeah. His wife is a doctor. That's their exactly pastrami that's is just fucking great. Mm. Yeah, that's exactly where you want to go. Old mm. school Jewish delis. If you want to get a good old pastrami hoagie. Very yeah, nice. like if either you or Rimshi are ever out here, we have to go to Shapiro's at least once. Anyway, <laughs> so like Star. this whole contention is like you know like oh you know like um the is the tuna and subway sandwiches fake and it's like then they do a test that would not in any way conclusively prove whether or not it's fake. Good job, you fucking failed. Yeah. Also, congratulations on the misleading clickbait art title yeah see yeah fuck off usa today 
You know, somebody has to ask the hard hitting questions. You know, yeah, we, we, I, we investigated and we found out that uh, the way we investigated was wrong. Oh my God! Let's not do any further investigation. No, 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 no. I have to finish now. I have to finish this article now. According to the Washington Post, the class action lawsuit filed in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California alleged that based on independent lab tests of multiple samples taken from subway locations in California, the tuna is a mixture of various concoctions that do not constitute tuna. The two plaintiffs of the complaint, Karen Danawa and Nilima Ammon, <laughs> fucking Karen, <laughs> fucking knew it. Of course. That's just about That's fucking about right. typical, isn't it? So Man, Karen, I, I, know, I know a couple Karens that are pretty cool. I feel really bad for him in yeah. this time of uh, history. So but I also Karen, know a couple, I also know a couple pretty cool Chads. And I feel bad for them. I felt bad for them since like 2016. So, you know, cycle's gonna go. <laughs> so Karen and Nalima sued Subway for fraud, intentional misrepresentation, unjust enrichment, and other claims, according to the Washington Post. Karen and Nalima argued they were tricked into buying food items that wholly lacked the ingredients they reasonably thought they were purchasing. Okay, yeah. Uh, Subway's gonna win this, you dumb cunts. Yeah. Go uh, throw them some nuisance money. Just another Bad frivolous fucking lawsuit. No, 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 no. Because all they have to do is test before it's cooked, then mm. test after it's cooked, show the results, case oh. dismissed. I, I'm inclined to believe there's actually tuna in this. Just the really yeah. Well, it's like crappy part. Cheap nobody would otherwise tuna, touch. Tuna. What, what kind of this shit? Yeah, like it's what like kind of sausage version of tuna? We kind of spurred this on. Like me and Jables, we we kind of stopped ourselves, but like we were starting to talk before we even started the show. It's like, well, what the fuck else would it be? Like, what fish yeah. could you possibly get that would be cheaper than tuna? Yeah, it's like, and then I, and I, I started a speculating. Fish that's like, like what? Soy protein? Yeah, I started speculating. Maybe Subway has its hands in like a like a salmon farm, and they're shredding that up. But as I said, um, you know, like salmon has a completely different flavor profile to tuna. Yeah, uh, well, farmed salmon's a little different. Yeah, but even still, you know, I've had canned salmon, and I've had canned tuna, and they don't taste the same. No. Yeah, then they name it something like you just fish sandwich or something like that. Yeah. I I'm inclined to believe there's like this really really crappy tuna, those sandwiches, but it, it is in fact tuna. Yeah. Yeah. Well, once again, don't get tuna at Subway. It's, it's like, just a mistake all around. Anything else? Anything else? The Meat only sandwich meatballs? at I was going to say the only sandwich at Subway that's still worth a shit to buy is the fucking meatball marinara. If you're not buying that, then why the fuck are you even there? Yeah, but don't get the meatball marinara late in the day because those just sit for yeah. So you get yeah, it at lunchtime. Don't get it around closing. Yeah, if get you it go, during, if get if it you during go a rush. In the afternoon, everything's been sitting out for half a day. No, no, you get it. You get it right after lunch rush. Everything's refreshed. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Don't get yeah. it for lunch. <laughs> yep. But if that message gets out far enough, there then it might be a bad idea to get it after lunch too. Like, Why? Because oh, it'll just be fresher for dinner time. So I'm what? gonna. <laughs> I mean, like that. Like if like you can't get to a subway until you get off of work at five, that might actually be to your benefit to kind of change the way the buying habits are. Yeah. Who's flexing also, like, and if, why? If you're, also, if you're in the apparently US, about food, 
Because if you're in the U.S., apparently every, just about every gas station I've been to has those little like pre-packaged croissant sandwiches, like the ham and Swiss ones. Mm. Just get that. Those are fucking great. Yeah, like um, think you're, uh, you're a shill for gas stations. Would you like to like, recommend some big pills while you're at it? No shit, though. You know, like um, you know, never, never tried any dick pills, but I'm not against it. The sausage, egg, and cheese croissant is the single best-selling breakfast item at my store. Period. That makes sense. Yeah. I would potentially heat up. Egg it outsells and all egg of the other croissants. sandwiches I make. I'd probably heat uh, buy some frozen uh, egg and cheese croissants if I was ever if i if our kitchen wasn't way too close to the bedroom and i could mm. potentially wake up mrs rimshi yeah, you know it I makes for really good breakfast caffeine and resentment pregnant wife <laughs> who's also working in person again yeah i better not wake her up too much oh uh, i i she need nicotine sleep. and resentment for breakfast yeah. mm, i recommend it yeah it's made me the wonderful human being I am I, now. I skip, um, I skip the caffeine for a couple of hours, and then uh, I just start. Oh, that. so just Comment. a resentment. <laughs> Commenting. No, I said ni nicotine and resentment. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Commenting to Mickey Ficky, uh, Bar and I might have the deepest voices of any people in this circle, but um, <laughs> have you heard of a guy called Undoomed? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Mister Faceless himself. Yeah, he. Well, have you ever got heard to... him when he's? Have you ever heard him outside of a video? Yeah, oh. I got to talk to him one night, like after, in a um, Nick show. Yeah, not as deep as it is during the. He he puts a little extra oh. uh, oomph into it. Uh, but even then, he's. he's um... He's got a He's pretty still, low register. Yeah, uh, I mean, I could go lower, but it starts hurting my voice. I do it for short beers of dumb if I do the uh, voiceover voice. Yeah, I be, can... Be careful about saying go go lower bar. There will be people in chat who want to hear it. Well, I was just going to say, like, I can downshift as well, but... It's not, it's not good to maintain it for a regular conversation. No. Long periods no, of time. I've, I've smoked... I, I've I smoked can so maintain it... I, I can so maintain it relatively comfortably. God, May but I, I have to have water thought. on hand. Uh, huh. Go on, Jables. Yeah. Out with it. I've smoked so many cigarettes and drank so much whiskey, and my voice still doesn't get deeper. Very That's because God whatever. hates you. Yeah. <laughs> of course, <laughs> God hates like... Jables. It's his Jables little jet. Fabulous. I didn't mean to talk oh. about Jables, but what I was saying no, was no, you're I, can't, you're... I can maintain it. But I have to have water on hand, just you know, keep lubricated. I, I'm more because it's hard to it's talk hard. deeper in your throat if you don't have you know like sufficient you know water on hand. Yeah, that that's definitely true. Yeah, I'm I'm also more concerned about being a dumb and uh, <laughs> than how my voice sounds. That, that's you not how it works. For the rest of the half hour or whatever. <laughs> In certain contexts, you're not wrong, Canuck. But... What you're saying is yeah. me <laughs> and Sir are just here to provide the voice board. Mm -hmm. I see how it is. Yeah, you, you balance it out. This is all we are to you people. God well, what would you heaven. rather them be, stalkers or only interested in our voices? Personally, I'm married. I'm happy to keep them at that distance. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> Personally, I... Yeah, I just don't care. Yeah. Yeah, well, you're also not married, and I don't know how things are with you and Dina, in terms of your 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 relationship setup, but I'm not gonna make any oh, assumptions. Good. No, no, I know they're good, but what what they are like? Is it monogamous? Is it open? Is it pan? Oh, is it I'm, any of the other sixty-seven possibilities? 
that now apparently I'm only allowed exists. to have sex with her and Canuck. That's it. Aren't you uh, fucking curious? Holy Rinsen? shit! <laughs> well, this one places. <laughs> It went places. Not good ones, yeah. but places. <laughs> places, yeah, let's put it like that. They yeah. went places. This kid's going places. Expected. Not college, but places. Yeah. It's that exact same energy. Welcome to the Lesser Saints of Discord sexual variety hour. <laughs> Gas station dick bill energy. That we could call it places. we could call it a uh, love line. With the less, uh, no, can't do that. That's already another. Thing. Oh no, that's how you get sued <laughs> by real, real lawyers. Uh, Very real. Uh, ah, shit. Fuck line. And your fake lawyer yeah. team is welcome, not welcome help to you in fuck that line case. with the lesser saints of Discord. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hop into the waiting the room. Tape. We'll uh, we'll solve your sexual oh. problems. Oh, sure yeah. we will. By killing your libido like a nuclear strike. Hey, I'm you a doctor. You can't have problems if you're not having sex. No, I, I, I can do this. I can do this. Like, you know. Yeah, I, I'm i a, I'm a doctor. Welcome to the Lesser Saints of Discord yeah, sex. Sure hotline. you are. I'm sir. As no, I... You're calling number <laughs> 10. Oh, I, we're going there. No, no, Bar, I can... <laughs> bar, okay. I can legitimately call myself a doctor. Yeah. Not legally, but yeah. legitimately. No, legally I can. I can't call myself a medical doctor. That's different. But I can legally call myself doctor, my real name. <laughs> hey, it shows cats, that education like, is worthless now. Cats, if you have never seen been. like Canuck fresh out of the shower with a towel wrapped around his head, Magnificent. I haven't. Is this gonna end up with you getting more nudes from Shane? He posted it in the Discord. When when did he what? post it in the Discord? Wait, who? Where is it? Canuck. Yeah, where? Oh. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> it's it's literally in general chat, Rim. You just scroll up. I am I am. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as I said, magnificent. He's a beautiful specimen. Wait, no, that's crab. Where's the other one? <laughs> Only tells. <laughs> God damn it, yeah. Larry. Uh, cats, it's in the Lesser Saints Discord. It's not general. Yeah. That that one's crab. That oh wait. No, that's that's a beard. Wait, five are twenty you one kidding me? Rimshi. It's... God damn. Here, I'll I'll post it in the live show for you. Like Just Ward posted easy. immediately afterwards. Yeah, that that's that's crab, isn't that's... it? No, what? that's Canuck. No! Oh, that's Canuck? Oh. The fucking handle says Quint. You fucking moron. I get moron. confused. Look at the fucking screen. <laughs> Cra crab is like 24. Cats, that's where are the you rough 24. Me? <laughs> I mean, honestly, man, confusing crab with Canuck, that's an insult to Canuck. What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, they both go by very different things on the Discord than they go in the chat. Uh... <laughs> anyway. Get in the fucking corner. <laughs> there, cats, are you happy? And as Crab said, I'm fucking 30, Rib <laughs> Hey, I have you seen 30-year-olds that looked like that. I've seen 25-year-olds that looked like that. You forget, I spent time in yeah. the military. My, my sense of age is fucked. 
I know a lot of people from the Midwest. Space is warped and time. My is sense of age is fucked. <laughs> yeah, spending time in the military. You, by the time you hit what, probably thirty, you already look like you're sixty. Ah, uh, yes. At least that's the potential. I, the few, the proud, the fucked. Yeah, yeah I, I've met Rimshi in person, and the fact that he's excelled in his career as far as he has baffles me because I don't see us as adults. <laughs> <laughs> so... Well, this is yeah, what you get I when you try and compare I, I yourself to others. I got foreman pay for a day this week. Yeah. People give you money, Rimshi? Yeah, and all I have to do is take off my clothes and put on other ones. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'd also pay you to put on your clothes. <laughs> I wouldn't, but I'd pay him to put on a ghillie suit and dance. <laughs> <laughs> I would unironically do that as well. I yeah. am half tempted. <laughs> I'm half tempted to get Miss Rimshi <laughs> my ghillie suit and go out to like a wooded area, put on the ghillie suit, dance in front of a line of trees, and have Miss Rimshi record it so we can make that our, uh, our, our uh, fuck, what's it called? Streams Labs thing. thing. That would be yeah. great, actually. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be fucking awesome. That would be way better than the fucking cow. <laughs> uh, honestly, Rimshi, when you were on camera just chilling with your ghillie suit, uh, whenever you took a me, drink it was and making disappeared. Me laugh. <laughs> it was making me laugh so much, and I'm so sorry that the audience couldn't see it. It was great. <laughs> By the way, audience, uh, yeah, we're gonna be in. We're gonna be putting in cameras soon for at least me and Rinchy. Someone remind us at some point during the week to get a hold of uh, Brainwash. Yeah, we we need to get a hold of Brainwash for a lot of things, actually. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Brainwash is amazing. <laughs> And uh, he does awesome shit. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I don't know how else to butter him up beyond he's near God like. It was like, yeah. um, like our holding screen could use an update. <laughs> by the way, all of our artwork done by Brainwash. Hit him up if you need any artwork done. Uh, I don't think I don't think he did our transitions, uh, but I think that's about it. Uh, brnw.sh is his huh? website. And yeah. I should probably just hit him up right now, just so I don't. Yeah, forget. probably should. Yeah. While we're while we're here thinking about it, anyway. I I'm trying to remember what I was about to search for on Google. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> Guess it was probably important. The best from Shane. Crab, stop simping. Oof. Yeah. Oh, I, I all of a sudden remember saying crab reminded me. Hey, Canuck, cats, I'm watching you two. Keep it PG in there. Eh, PG 13's fine. Eh, fair enough. Ooh. Actually, no. I I have my own issues with fucking PG thirteen. PG yeah, thirteen is just fuck. yeah. It's it's literally just a money making scheme. That's all PG thirteen is at this point. Oh, it's like oh, we made this awesome R rated movie. Ah, uh, cut it down to PG thirteen. We'll get more audience that way. Yeah. Uh, well, I remember it was Scary Movie four. Uh, by the way, unrated is also a fucking money-making scheme. That's what I'm getting. Uh -huh. at. Scary Movie Four was PG-13. All the previous scary movies were might have been Scary Movie Three. The other two were rated R. This one was rated PG-13. Went to watch the unrated version. They said the only difference was they said "fuck" twice. That's it. No titties. Oh, cats, cats just Nothing. giving out the nudes. Well, to some of us, anyway. 
Wait, what? Don't worry about it. Now, now Jables' is interest is big. His interest is big. Cats, come on. He's still upset about the yammy situation. I am. I got kind of revenge. Mm. You know, uh, uh, I'm going to say it right now. Uh, when you've seen one, you want to see them all. Yes, I've made that <laughs> point multiple times. No. One man out there in a quest. And of course, I, I could send people... to Bar the, the bald headed. Wait, what? Oh, Shut Mickey up. wants to see him too now. Just yeah. like the rest of us. People. People might I mean, call us Cass misogynistic. Cass is a pretty lady. People might call us misogynistic, but the funny thing about that is a majority of our audience is female. Holy yeah, it's shit. fucking weird, isn't it? <laughs> Doesn't this make it some sort of hate crime? Uh, I don't fuck no that. shit, Erdonia's here. Oh, yeah. no. Uh, <laughs> I know what they're going to be talking about in the mod chat <laughs> of, of the Joss server for like the next couple of days. fucking summoned. It's like, did someone <laughs> say cats? <laughs> like a dog fact, whistle. Oh, he got them first. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. It... Oh, no. Sorry. What? I'm, what are we all knowing? You about? know, I'm very sad that everybody just sort of restricts Thanks. everything from me. It's uh, <laughs> very disappointing. I understand Don't the get any. behind it, but it's it's really sad at the same time. Jables, none Jables. of us feel sympathy Res for you. Respect the fucking commitment to the bit. <laughs> I do, I do. And even if you sent them to me, I would say you didn't. Just saying. I see what you did there. Oh, hey, master Cass, subtle. If you want the regular guest <laughs> role, just uh, you know, y you know what you can do to bribe me. Uh, <laughs> we're not Weinsteining this shit. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going there. <laughs> oh god. Oh, well, that is how Yami got the regular guest role. But <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a different time. We're reformed from then. Cats, I didn't have a response. You said happy pride and you sent a selfie. Okay. Cool. I'll, I'll give you the regular guest roll, Cats. You don't have to give anything to me. Cats already <laughs> has a regular guest roll. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Oh, shit. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Here, I'll fix that right now. No, 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 no. I'll take that away. <laughs> All right. All right. Look at nope, Jables gate. 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 You want to fight me on this motherfucker? I own this. Oh thing. no! Is this the temp is this the civil war temple keeps going on about? <laughs> <laughs> saints, lesser saints, civil war. I'll take away your rolls too, sir. Ooh. <laughs> 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 I tried, cats. Jables is being a bitch. Yep. No, I've seen how this turns against me in the past. So, <laughs> I, I don't like it at all. <laughs> yep. Good thing we've got background music. <laughs> Well, there wasn't really much more to be said on that point. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah. Uh, hey, cats. You know what to do. I'm waiting. These motherfuckers trying to exploit the audience. Yeah, of course you're gonna I mean, isn't this Twitch? Oh, okay, uh, hold, hold on, hold on. Yami and cats are very different situations. We've known them for years. Let's, let's let's make that extremely oh. clear. Okay, do we want to clarify if that means we have more consideration or less consideration for them because of that? <laughs> I'm just asking.
I don't know what, what, what the right mean? answer to that is. Cats is dictating terms now. No, or yeah, not. That's, yeah, that's not. That's not blackmail. That's honey potting. Get your yeah. tradecraft right. I mean, you, yeah. you come out here, and if we can get Jables and and Sir out here, we'll we'll hang out in the hot tub that my parents have, and we'll 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 just do shit. Oh, yeah. yeah I I am not getting in a hot tub with you guys. <laughs> hot tub stream, Lesser Saints edition. I may be a queer, but I've got limits. God oh, damn. Patch just sent it God to me. damn, that is cold, sir. You know, uh, I'm gonna. I, I'm really. Word. I'm. <laughs> I know. I know. Rimshi shat next to somebody else that was shitting face to face and had a chat. Yeah, I'd get oh. naked in a hot tub with Rimshi. So. <laughs> oh, Larry. Because oh, I I know I know Rimshi's just not gonna give a shit. And same. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, no, it, no one wants to hear the story about me and boot camp. Yeah. No one wants to hear it. It it was boot camp people. Calm yeah. Down. That stuff works. <laughs> Slice logs. It's like Las Vegas. What happens there stays there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Larry, it is like nut soup. You want a taste? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's I mean Rimshi and the I have is shot almond on... or pistachio? Rimshi and I have taken a shit on mic together while setting up the show. <laughs> wow. I forgot about that. Shit. All right, we should do this. I no, completely forgot you know, we did that. Uh, <laughs> Adonia, what? I swear to fucking Christ. So, Brainwash is flavorless. Brainwash is the Brazilian. I'm the Portuguese. Completely different types of nuts. Yeah, one's allowed to do heroin. The other oh, one's no, allowed like, to do heroin because there's no cops. As I said, like, when I read Brazil <laughs> nuts, I read overpriced and having no taste. Do you know what Brazil nuts used to be called? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> It took me a moment in imagining what they looked like, but I remember now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Larry! Larry. Larry. You're not wrong, but Larry. We, 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 on, we, on, we on Twitch, buddy. <laughs> we on Twitch. <laughs> Gotta be careful, man. Bezos is watching. Mm. Uh, he's gonna be watching us from space pretty soon. Only he'd stay there. Yeah, that'd be so nice, wouldn't it? Where's yeah, the maintenance? Mom... Crew? Where's the maintenance crew for the Challenger when you need them? Yeah, like, I'm not saying <laughs> I want an Apollo One remake, but no uh, one uh, actually uh, uh, asked, Larry. Oh no. My, it, yeah, what it was a ah, uh, what's the name for that? I forget. Ah, uh, it wasn't a question you should answer. <laughs> that uh, there's an there's an actual name for it. God damn it! Why can't I remember it right now? Because that's how you are, Jables. A constant disappointment. Rhetorical. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I would have been on top of that if I had been paying attention to him. No, you wouldn't have. No, no, because I wasn't paying attention to him. I'm, yeah. I'm taking care of behind-the-scenes stuff. Even if you were paying attention, don't give yourself more credit than you deserve. I don't. 
I, I'm. You don't even know how to spell. I'm just though. distracted by my cat's <laughs> naked pic. Mm. Stop wow. looking at that. You'll go blind. <laughs> Hey, Jables, you have his wife's number, right? I do. <laughs> Start a little drama here. Hey, hon! No, she's not going to give a shit. Yeah, I know. It's, yeah. It's... Oh, it's almost time for the show to end. We got minutes! Why are we all talking about nudes in the chat now? Because it's more interesting than whatever the fuck's going on right right here. Because I'm not getting Clearly. any. It makes I mean, me feel left out, and it yeah, makes me feel really self conscious about everything that my life is. Quit bitching. <laughs> you know you're on the internet, don't you, Jables? <laughs> Let me repeat that: the internet. Yeah, but it's cooler if we get them from people, you know. Yeah, she was more mad that I pulled her away from making dinner. Yeah, no. It. Stop I don't bothering. She's wife. She'd probably walk oh, over and no. say, "Hey, nice tits." So, <laughs> just to bring it up, what you're saying is nudes are like tuna sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't get it. Yeah, it's better if you know who makes them. <laughs> <laughs> See, I brought it the fuck around. <laughs> that was pretty. Good. <laughs> Oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, I'm using that. Uh, <laughs> shit, where the fuck is my pen? Sure, you're welcome. God damn it. Larry, you're not helping. <laughs> oh... <laughs> no, no, don't. <laughs> don't stop on my account. Oh, crab. It... <laughs> It's amazing how sheltered you are sometimes when you chat. <laughs> well, don't ask him if he's being serious, cats. You don't want the answer to that. Damn it, Bar. <laughs> What? I said nothing. I make no comments. At least the title's appropriate this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite. All of y'all missing the chat. It, there's a reason we don't have the chat up on screen. Yeah. yeah. You motherfuckers. Deniability. You motherfuckers are animals, man. We can't have you up on screen. <laughs> <laughs> We're not anybody that watches on you YouTube, if we don't acknowledge you in the first place. And anybody watching on YouTube, check us out on Twitch when we're live. Yeah. <laughs> Every Friday, 4 30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 30 p.m. Eastern. Oh, you might as well, three of you? You might as well catch us live. No one watches the fucking VODs anyway. Huh. Yeah, not wrong. Yeah. Yeah, which is why you've managed to keep yourselves out of jail. So. <laughs> oh, oh no, we we all live in America. We can say whatever the fuck we want. Mm. For we now. We just we just resist breaking Twitch's terms of service. See, so then go to Bezos jail. Yeah, because I yeah, we well, on doing Twitch? a helicopter on screen is going to send us straight there. What is yeah. that? Is that an onion? It's a volume sheet. It's less of a helicopter, more of a mini drone. Larry, the only way we'd ever let you on this show is if we had a mute button. Yeah, I think you, you need to plant that onion that's been growing in our kitchen. Randomly. 
have an onion in growing in your kitchen? Well, okay, so we bought a red onion, and it was sitting behind a yellow onion, and when my wife moved the yellow onion, it was obvious that there was a, a onion plant growing out of the actual onion bulb. Oh, so it sprouted on you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you might as well plant it at that point. <laughs> That was a good time to plant it. Good weather. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's good. Some, it's good. Get you some free onions. Uh, your your first round might not be that great, but if you start earlier in the season and plant it in the spring next year, then uh, you might be able to get some good onions. Yeah. I'm actually considering doing a bit of, you know, like gardening myself at some point. I I really want my own black raspberries. Jesus fuck, where is this show going to? Are we gonna do home the hell? Just like everything else we touch. It's the yeah. final two minutes of the fucking show, Bar. We don't have anything else to talk about. You mean I don't know? You, say something wait. offensive. What? You're you're a fucking. <laughs> oh, would you fuck me for blow? How about that? No. And not just because I, I don't do cocaine either. So many ways to die. It doesn't have to be so low, man. Let's get high. Yeah. There. You happy? Yeah, sure. Let's call it that. Of course Crab is still on fish cats because he has all the game of a dead one. <laughs> so sick of the hobos, always begging for change. That's never gonna die. You realize that, right? I know. Yeah. Well, no, no. Uh, Bar asked me to do some edgy shit, and so yeah. What I, I it's not edge? That's you, fucking you, you, cringe. You, There's a difference. When? <laughs> yeah. Well. We're also on Twitch, so I can't use certain words. Otherwise, I would say a lot of really fucked up shit. You know, our usual conversations. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. We make you gay. You weren't fucking gay to begin with, cats? What? Who wouldn't try and get you to the U.S. cats? Because whoever they are, they're no friend of ours. Or maybe they are. I don't actually know. Uh, <laughs> for anyone that's just tuning in, welcome to the waiting for Nick portion of the stream. Yes. It's, he's showing his live for me in the he's host channel us. section. Oh. Yeah, that would explain things. Yeah. But Alaska's cold. It has boosts. Because he just, he just texted me he'll be live in five at the most. That big Alaska thing. has a lot of dangerous things. Lurking These are dangerous. <laughs> Not All right, that. now it's also, not showing you know, him as live. What the fuck, Twitch? He probably he probably fucked up, clicked live, and then went back on it. I don't know. The bears, Sarah Palin. What about Sarah Palin? The less said, the better. <laughs> now he's live. Now I have to do all the shit. Come on, Twitch. Don't be a bitch. Well, anyways, anybody have any plugs? Um, nothing I can think of. Nope. 
everybody bully cats into sending me those nudes. Um, no. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> only after you, only after you sh send her yours. I'll send my nudes. I don't give a shit. Uh, <laughs> don't do that to cats. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what? No, I don't. <laughs> Although I do have a, I do uh, have a riding crop. <laughs> Not a riding crop. I do have a paddle and a ball gag that Addie left here, but no. Butt okay, Jables. Jables, here's how All you right. get it out of her. You threaten to send her your nudes if she doesn't send. Uh, send her. Yeah. Threaten to send her your nudes if she doesn't send you the picture. Yep. Exactly. What room she said, cats. Uh. Yeah. I'll send you my nudes <laughs> if you don't send me yours. All right, anyways, thank you, everybody, for joining us. We've been the Lesser Saints of Discord every Friday at 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, please enjoy the Laughing Scoundrel podcast. I'll be on there as well. So, yes, uh, now you understand why we don't trust Rimshi with anything. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I, no, I will show mine if she doesn't show hers, crap. Dirty. Don't actually do that, Jables. That's that's playing dirty. Oh, yeah. I'll I'll do it. Don't do Go. it. I mean, I mean what called, I say when yeah. I say what I mean. Have a good night, everybody. Good <laughs> night, everyone. <laughs> Late. And we're rating in three, two, one. Goodbye, everyone. Dina can't help you now. <laughs>